Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about different types of lateral load resisting systems for your structure. Specifically, we're going to cover what is a brace frame, what is a moment frame, and then what is a shear wall. Now you can see here, I have a single story frame structure, and this structure is rather precariously balanced. All of the locations, all of the hinges in the structure are actual pin type connections. So they're incapable of resisting a moment, they rotate freely, and so I'll balance that once again. Obviously, if I place some sort of lateral load, which could be, for example, a wind load, a seismic load, virtually every structure has some kind of lateral load on it, this structure is incapable of carrying that lateral load. How am I going to fix that? Well, I'll introduce a lateral load resisting system, and the first one we'll talk about is the braced frame. So to create a braced frame, we're going to create some diagonal bracing. I'll take this first brace right here and connect it right up front. And you'll notice that once I've connected a single brace to the structure, it is now stable. It's capable of carrying that lateral load. And this is a common misconception of starting civil engineering students where they seem to think that you need a brace in every single bay of your frame. You really don't. So these two outside bays are carrying gravity load only and any lateral load has to be transferred in this case through a beam and then it can be carried down to my foundation through my single braced frame right here. Now we can also create a cross brace. So if I take my second brace right here and I tie that in, that will be beneficial in general because regardless of which direction my lateral force comes from, one of my braces is going to be in tension. One of them is going to be in compression. As structural engineers, we tend to like that level of symmetry because for example, if I have a very slender brace that could buckle in compression, I'd rather have something in tension to help me carry that load without fear of buckling. So that's the braced frame. Let's take this apart and let's make a quick moment frame for this system. Now the moment frame is going to carry lateral load by resisting rotations at my connections. So in this case, I'm going to take these two connections here and I'm going to revise my system so that it acts like a moment frame. And to do that, I'm gonna take my column right here and I'm going to connect it to the same wheel as this beam, just like that. So now this beam and this column are connected together integrally. And now this beam and this column will be connected together integrally. My two outside places, as you can see here, are still free to rotate but now I have a single moment frame in the middle. Moment frames can be achieved with either concrete or steel structures. In this case, our stability is just because we have some sort of connection there that is capable of resisting a moment. So if I apply a lateral load to this, first of all, you'll notice that it is considerably less stiff than the brace frame that we just saw. So I'm capable of deflecting this a rather far distance, but of course it springs right back when I remove the load. So this is therefore a stable structure. Last but not least, let's talk about the shear wall. Now I've reverted my structure back to its unstable condition with only pinned connections here. And I'm going to install a shear wall in this system with some paper and tape. Now, obviously more commonly you'll use reinforced concrete. It is possible to do steel plate shear walls, not as common, but it does work. In this case, I'm just gonna tape this thing right in my center bay. And there we have it, we have a paper shear wall. It is capable of carrying my lateral load. As I try to deform this thing, my bay here has to retain the shape of the shear wall. And we can know it's actually carrying in shear because when this system was unbraced in any way, this deformed as classical shear deformation. We took a square or rectangular shape and we deformed it to the side. This wall right here is resisting that deformation in shear. So once again, my lateral load has to come from the side. It's transferred through a beam into my panel with a shear wall, which can then carry that to the foundation in a shear mechanism. And those are the three primary lateral load resisting systems. We had the brace frame, the moment frame, and the shear wall. As always, I hope you learned something. Please subscribe. I will see you next time.